gentlemen here now for the Irish Oracle. Just the three winners to take home Duvan. And then there's the imposing back legs of Duvan, two for two over fences. Uh, oh, sorry, that's James A. Brook. <laughs> I apologies. So it looks like Duvan is going to make that running here under Ruby Walsh or will James A. Brook try and jump off ahead? Price pot here, fifty four thousand euros to the winner. Um, he has won last year by under so, so can any of them follow in his footsteps and go on to win this? And then the Arkle at Cheltenham. And the obvious start out starting points for that would be have to be Duvan, so at the first. Duvan over safely from Doomsday Brook, and the back marker in the early stages is. Is 16 to 1. Doomsday Brook is 10 to 1, and there is Duvan, your hot, hot favourite, at 1 to 10. Um, obviously, he has scared off most of the opposition here. If it's only three winners for a great one, you know, it's uh, it's not great. So he continues on in the lead from Doomsday Brook and Velvet Maker, who's a length behind Doomsday Brook. There as uh, Duvan comes in and takes it. Those people I think were slightly around and a slightly keen as Velvet Maker. Uh, he's just slightly keen there under Adrian Haskin out the back. There's not a, if he gets to the problem in the small fields, there's not usually a great pace here. Uh, but Duvan's going off on a good enough clip now. He leads from Velvet Maker and Doomsday Brook. Uh, Doomsday Brook on his last start, he won a race at uh, Limerick over two mile, one furlong. So shows Velvet Maker, he was third in the uh, race that Duvan won, yes, on Boxing Day, you know. But he's he's got a heck of a lot of ground to make up in Duvan if he's to reverse the form. So Duvan now goes on by about two lengths to Velvet Maker and uh, Doomsday Brook at the back. Doomsday Brook slightly slow there under Andrew Lentz. Lost by two or two and a half lengths there, I'd say. So it's about from first to last, four or five lengths maybe. Duvan, he's, he's lost, lost his shot, trying to get him into a rhythm here. As they approach the next fence, he leads by about a length and a half to Velvet Maker. That was lovely. Oh, and Velvet Maker has done nothing there, but he, he lives to tell the tale. So, Duvan is still leading from uh, Velvet Maker and Doomsday Brook. The second fence on the back straights here at Leverstown, and the great one, Frank Ward's Lithenders, Arkle Novice Chase. It's called the Irish Harkle for short. So Duvan, going well here. He's in a good rhythm uh, from Doomsday Brook and Helper Maker racing alongside beside each other. Duvan, he just looks so alert and comfortable. Duvan, the ears are pricked. He just looks so comfortable. So down to the last on the back stretch before they swing right hand or slightly right hand it onto the next fence. We all now Walsh is pressing on a bit now on Duvan. He's opened up a three or four length advantage, well four length advantage over Velvet Maker. Then comes Doomsday Brook, who won a race at Limerick last time out at his said. Oh, he's trained by Henry de Bromhead. So it is Duvan the favourite for Rich Richie Colours. Another gorgeous leap there by Duvan. And Doomsday Brook was slow there and that's cost him a few lengths and that could have a serious effect on his chances. So up now towards what is probably the most tricky fence on the course. At the next second last, Duvan over safely from Velvet Maker and uh, Doomsday Brick out the back. But Duvan, he's going so comfortable here, Duvan, and Walsh is now shaking the reins. And it's Duvan, he goes on now about five or six lengths. So Duvan's opening up here in the home straight now from Velvet Maker. Doomsday Brick just cannot go with him. Duvan now still leading by about four or five lengths and he's just cantering away there. Velvet Maker's not gone yet though. But at the last it's Duvan. Just has to jump it safely. He is over. Velvet Maker's slightly pitched on landing, but it's Duvan now. He's opening up this machine. And it's Duvan the destroyer who's destroying them yet again. Oh, he's just cantering out. What a gorgeous horse this is. Duvan wins the Irish Oracle in brilliant style. Question is, can anyone get near him at Cheltenham? 
Ivan wins his um, fourth group on. That's another winner for Willie Mullins and Ruby Wolves. Well, this this horse and Richard he did say yesterday that Duvan could be the best of the horses that he owned. That's a big big statement considering as Fahin fought her back at um Ali Power, Room Room Mike, you know, just some awesome horses in that stable. Duvan, that's another winner for Walk in the Park, who of course uh, Coomore bought uh, earlier this week. So another big winner for Walk in the Park, that's a really good piece of business there by Coomore to uh, inquire or buy uh, Walk in the Park. Great horse is also the sire of Min, who, well we might see Min out again, who knows, maybe in two weeks time, but uh, Tennessee Day, but I don't know. But just look at the way Duvon just stretched clear there. I mean, like Big Alan Baker and Dream State Brook, they are no slouches. You know, they're, they're pretty decent horses, and you know, I don't, I don't think his price for Cheltenham would have shortened by much because of that, but still, uh, you know, if he gets the R 100% fit, you know, he's going to take some beating. It'll be a much stiffer test at Cheltenham. There'll be horses like uh, Vanato from the Nickel, sorry, the, the Nicky Anderson stable and uh, a few others as well. So Duvan, the one, two, four, what price was he? Was he one to four, three, no, it was the one to twelve, sorry, yeah. So another fast answer sets for Duvan. That's the market for the Arkell Chase on the opening day of the 2016 Shelton Festival.